Oh, Hi guys. Hey everybody. Oh gosh. I'm going to try and turn this down and listen to us on here. Okay. It's going to be a little delayed though. I know. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that because then Pam's going to be really delayed. When you hear that echo, even if it's faint, it's very distracting to you. If you yes, yeah. you guys let us know if you hear me echoing. Look at everybody, y'all. Hey, Randy girl. Hey, Virginia huh. and Stormy. How's that? Shelby I'm and Barbara. To be in live. Did they say they can hear us? Everyday Crafter says they hear us an echo. Do you hear an echo? Oh, crap. Because uh, Ange Angela's doing a live sale, um, and that was that's a problem over on there, so we think it's StreamYard. Yep. Is it just me and Aaron, or is it Miss Pamela, too? Big echo. Hi, Randy. Hi, Shelby. Bye, girl. Well, I don't think there's anything we can do about it, so we're all going to have to Hi, Barbara and bear Mary. with it. It's without. So we can try to listen to it try. from here, but we won't hear Pam live. What if I turn us down a little bit? Well, let me try. I can try and instead of listening to it through StreamYard, because that's where Miss Pam will be live, I can try and turn up and listen to it like you guys do. Nope. I can try and turn up and listen to it like you guys That's probably going to be worse. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Well, there's going to be a big, there's a big problem somewhere because Leona Moscato said she can barely hear me and I, I, talk, I, I talk so loud, I wake the dead, so something's wrong. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, StreamYard's being funny today. <sighs> hey, it didn't echo. Oh, yeah, it did. I just turned it down. Yeah, I don't understand if it's StreamYard, YouTube, whatever. I don't know. Well, y'all just have to bear with well, us. Well, we both use StreamYard. I probably oh, StreamYard. StreamYard. I don't know if it maybe has an update or something. You are low, Miss Pamela. But baby, I've got my volume all the way up. I don't know what it could be. Claire2D2 says I'm very low. LaDonna, well, excellent packing, my girl. It better be excellent packing. <laughs> I can barely hear Pam and Alex is loud. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna have to hang in there. Hey, Kelly B. We'll try to. We'll Nothing try we to can do. Make it swift tonight. Yeah, we don't have that a ton of items. Well, so. Miss Pam, if you go, if you look at your stream yard. Yeah. Right, look at the main screen. Uh -huh. The little sprocket thing that says settings. Yep. If you click that and then click audio, yep. I think you can turn up your mic volume. Yeah, you can. Yes, I did. My vi mic volume is all the way up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Click on the little gears. See, mine wasn't. Mine was halfway. Barbara oh, okay. says it'll be all right. That's what I want to hear. Thank you, Barbara. Yes. Kelly B, are you side. going to be my bid ender still? Did anything happen between when you left down here at home uh, that might have changed that? Oh, Christy, I'm Hi, so Kitty glad Wing. to see Hi, you. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Robin. Hi, everybody. And I think y'all will notice that we're missing D this month, and she has had... Um, you know, she's got Winnie, her, her daughter's little girl, these granddaughter. And there was some kind of um, scheduling difficulties. I don't know if, Aunt, uh, if Jessica's work schedule changed or her, her anyway, Dee's helping out on Mondays now with um, the baby. So she can't be here for, on the Mondays anyway. She's got grandma duty. Pam, no well, echo, she's doing only it. Alex has an echo. Yeah, I don't think we you just can't hear me. <laughs> can't hear me at all. Default, what's the microphone? Maybe you switch it. Let's see. Go. How does that sound? Oh, there's still an echo. Yes, okay. we need to poo. We need to poo. Oh, echo cancellation. Go back to stereo audio on the top. 
I'm going to say what y'all are checking out. I didn't even know those things existed. Oh, I see where y'all are at. This is... Oh. Hey, Perla. How are you, baby? I don't know. Yep. Hi, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to fix the echoey, but... Hey, Jackie. Hey, rooftop. Hey, there. Hey, rooftop. A pool game. Pro oh my God! Oh, hey, nice. I would be a good partner for you in pool rooftop. I bet I you am would. A killer pool player. Oh, oh pool shark, you. you. Yeah, I'm a little sharky. <laughs> His stepdad's good. When we were in Man, Tennessee, he was like showing all of us some tricks. I got pretty good over the few days we were there. <laughs> that was a fun vacation. Y'all liked it. That was a fun vacation, wasn't it? I did like Tennessee. I would have liked to see more of the non-touristy side, but I still like it. Yeah, it's a beautiful. We, see we keep, Mary. We keep saying fun. we want to go see you. We do. Come on down. <laughs> it's probably not that much of a drive. It's. I don't know. Katie says it takes her eight hours. Katie drives like forty miles an hour. Katie's like you know she's like Mr. Rogers. You know, she you, hop on, that train and, you yeah. hop on that train and you don't, there's no telling where oh, you're that's going. That's so true. Driving so, with her is very, very slow. Very, very slow. Very slow. <laughs> so and, I could probably make it in four. I don't know. I don't know about I'm that. I'm kidding. Well, it says to Alabama itself from our house, seven hours and 11 minutes. Well, that's the state Which line. Which is about the I'm, same it took us for Tennessee. I'm we four hours Tennessee. from mobile from the gulf of mexico i'm four hours to my to my house oh so then it probably wouldn't because it's putting us like smack dab in the middle of alabama she says she's in birmingham okay okay i went there my uncle used to live there let's see yes i'm hey, gonna Melissa. clean my house and then we get a tour fly girl yes hey donna i know yes we're echoing robert we can't help it we've tried Streamyard is having an issue Mm -hmm. Okay, seven hours and 54 minutes. And see, it, could, so it shouldn't take like, any that long because she's two hours north of us. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. You don't, you, you just never know. You just never know about Katie. No, no. All right, so well, we're going to go ahead and get started, y'all, because yeah. I, I think we're going to try, since we've got the issue with StreamYard tonight. We're going to try to um, go a little bit quicker so we don't aggravate the crap out of y'all with the echo thing. Amen. Amen. Okay? But I am Pam them. and and I forgot to I forgot to link, put Alex and Aaron's link in the description. And now they have another channel so I forgot both of them. So Kelly Michelle, That's baby, okay. if you would please put their links in. I would um I would appreciate it, baby. Or either I can make Mr. Chapter Two a mod and he can put it in. Can I do that from here? Hey, Aaron doesn't do links. It, Shelby could probably do it. Or LaDonna if she was here. I'm not a mod in her thing. I don't you you're on StreamYard. You no, can't I'm do it anyway. I, I don't know. Do I didn't type anything. Kelly B will do I'm it, at, I guess. If not, Kelly I Kelly B did it. There she goes. She did it. Cool. But, Thank you. Um and I would appreciate anybody who is here Hi, who Shelley. is not subscribed to them. Please subscribe to Alex and Aaron. And we have this sale between us to, with us, each other the second Monday of every month. And it's at the same time. It's at 5 o'clock Central and 6 p.m. Eastern. And, oh, I know it, Melissa, but baby, we'll have, we'll have another good sale next Saturday. And, Alex, what sales do you have coming up for the following week, baby? Just my um, sale at 7 p.m. on Thursday on our channel. Uh, we have been starting doing some live vamp sales. Um, but this week, uh, we usually follow right after Misty, Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter. Uh, but she's on a little bit of vacation. So I'm going to wait until she comes back to try it again next Thursday. Because we're trying to, like, build that up. Uh-huh. Um, so this Thursday... It's just our regular sale at seven. Okay. Just the regular one. Our uh, your your second channel, the House on Noble, 
tell the people a little yes. bit about that channel. Oh, uh, yes. Um, I'm sorry about the echoing. <laughs> so I'm going to, I really, I'm going to try to do more on that channel because it's more of like a vlog style. And I was putting a video out once a week, but it is really tanked and dropped off. So I'm thinking, I don't know if it's because like maybe YouTube is kind of punishing me in a sense because I don't have more than the one. Um, so I'm going to try to do that, but it's more like vloggy, like what we do at the house. Uh, if we go somewhere fun, you know, something like that. And then chapter two is more of the reselling content. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we're going to get started. We, uh, we both use PayPal for our invoicing. We both use pirate ship, which is the most economical way to get you your packages. We do not do just in case on our channel. Um, Aaron. Uh, you'll see him show up in the chat as Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. He is going to be doing the bid ends and the starts for um, him and Alex. Kelly B is my daughter. She will be doing them for me. And um, straight claims or just straight claims. Oh, we both have little giveaways for tonight. Don't we? D did you get find some yes. out? Yes. Okay. Did. Did. Yes, I found a couple little guys. Tonight. If you have any questions, you can just um, put them in the chat, and Kelly uh, and Aaron will be looking at the chat with us, and they'll be answering any questions you have. Um, and I think that's I think that's it, and we'll get started. And I will go. We'll let Alex go first. We will do two each. Okay. And, oh. Um, let's see. Okay. If I can remember well, how to do this layout. Hold on. I have. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There it is. Okay, so I do have, again, I'm sorry about the echoing. We think that the StreamYard we're using is having difficulties because it's yes. happening to other resellers today. Okay, that are going live from there. So bear with me. But I do have two giveaways. So if you purchase something from us today, from me and Aaron, um, at the end of the sale, you guys will be the in the running for one of these items. So I have this little vintage goose figurine Aww. perfect for spring and then i have this little boxer doggy i think that's a boxer right i don't know my yeah, animal sorry like a little boxer. so those are my two items for giveaway okay perfect all right the first item i have is going to start at ten dollars and it's such a cute little mid-century egg cup now these go to actually a set. There's a few different ladies' faces, but they're so cute, so cute for spring. You could put your little eggs in there, or if you just like kitschy stuff in your kitchen. She is cute. She is cute. She doesn't have a maker on her, so I'm not quite sure what company she comes from. And do I, can you give me a ruler? A ruler, I can. A ruler, please. It's always something with either YouTube or stream. I'm telling you, it's almost three inches. So cute. No, nobody. Nobody wants okay. to make Ten, that. Okay, ten, nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and so. Or stop. Hey, Corey. Yeah, you got it so. Shelby and Melissa. Shelby, can you can get those little um around Halloween, like the little miniature witch hats and set one on top of her. Oh god. That would be yeah. cute. Yeah, that would be cute. So Shelby got it for Shelby got it for ten dollars. Thank you, Shelby. Lord, there doesn't need to be a pair of us. I know. Hey butterfly nurse. Hey, Tony. Well, it's only when we go, so. Yeah, I'll we'll try to be quiet. Um, okay, I have a wall climber squirrel. Now, he he has a little paint missing on one eye, okay? There we go. He's going to start at $14. He's adorable. Aren't these cute? Let's see. This one is like seven and a half inches. And you put like a nail here in the wall and like here for the tail. 
and they climb. Might be have a big lag tonight too. Hi, Corin. Hey, Corin. I don't know. It's Aging not that bad at on 14. my phone. What's that? It's not that bad on my phone. Yeah, I can hear it through the laptop. So. Oh. So with the eye, you take a little bit of black paint and then a little, uh, like if you have a white paint marker and just go boop, boop, boop. boop. Yeah. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. YouTube has no way for you to do joint sales, right? Or they do now, don't they? They do have an option now, Miss Pam. We should test that out. You want to? Next time? Well, not right now. Not right now. Maybe we'll go live and do something else another day, like just a test, and yeah. see if we could do it. We Hallelujah, because I'm all for that. Yep. Because normally the lag is But I only bad, see but... the feature from my phone, though. I don't know. Maybe I can set it up on there. I don't know. We'll see. So who got it? Tab got it. Thank you, Tab. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. And Kelly, I just saw your comment about Mr. Clarence. And I will, uh, Annette, I will get that info from Kelly, baby. And I'll, um, I'll add him to my prayer list. I know it's something about needing some prayer for uh, Mr. Clarence. So we'll do that, baby. I didn't see your comment, but I saw Kelly's. Or I was just looking when Kelly's came up. Okay. My first um, little thing is an offer up. And it's for a little Kelly Michelle. This offer up. Well, I guess it'd be nice if I put a start on it, wouldn't it? This is starting off at $18, baby. $18. And this is for... What I put together as a little um, St. Patrick's Day bundle. First, you're getting a St. Patrick's Day bingo card. This one is the Blarney. And he's just a little cute. It says, um, the, morning's mor the morning's morning to you. Aaron the Terror and the Smile, St. Patrick's Day. So you get the St. Patrick's Day bingo card. You get the antique postcard St. Patrick's Day from 1900. March 15th, 1900, with the little leprechaun on there. And you're going to get three greeny colored. I put this this in with it because it is very St. Patrick's Day-y looking to me. It's like a dark, dark forest green and a lighter green. That darkest piece almost looks black. So you get that hanky, this pretty hanky. Also, because it looks real springy-like with the big bow on there and got a lot of green in it. And you get this one. And they're all in really, really, really good condition. All three. So you get the three, the three vintage handkerchiefs, the 1900 St. Patrick's Day postcard, and the St. Patrick's Day bingo card with the magnet and the uh, easel on the back. And we'll start the countdown on this slide at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like making these little lights like this. Let me see who got that. I see Kelly stop. Well, we can't use it. Uh, LaDonna, that is that checked is on there, but it's not working. not working. I see Kelly stop, and it looks like it's going to go to Grandma Mary. Yay, baby. Thank you so much. Grandma Mary got her a St. Patrick's Day little bundle. Thank you, love buff. And then up next, I have this vintage. Kelly, this is starting at $14, baby. And it is for this Radnor 
is that Radnor or Rodner? Radnor, Radnor, hand painted bone china from Staffordshire, England. Little pot, the sweetest little pot of bone china flowers you have ever seen. They they look like Capa du Monte, but they're more sturdy, if that makes any sense. Like they, um, like you'll notice these aren't chipped or anything or broken off like the Capa du Monte, but I don't know how to explain it other than they're just, they're just more sturdy. Like they're thicker made, like the little leaves and petals, or either she just took real good care. No, they're not either, because these pansies is just the thinnest paper on the end there. But I thought that they were just so pretty. I'll show them to you real slow. Here's the little yellow rose. And the little leaves and then the pink. And I think this is like a chrysanthemum or a bachelor's button. I can, or carnation. I think this is a carnation from the little leafy, leafy way it is. But it's very, very cute. And we'll start the countdown on this one at 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. I just thought this would add a little springtime in a small space, you know? Because every one of those, it just all the different colors, it's just so spring and Easter like to me. I thought it was very, very pretty. And plus, Staffordshire, England. You can't go wrong with a piece from Staffordshire. I see Kelly Michelle stop. And it looks like this piece is going to the aging beginner. Thank you, sweet baby. Thank you so much. Oh, and I'm going to put both of you in the drawing. I didn't. I didn't put you in the drawing, but I, I will right now when I get Alex over here. Okay, we stayed muted as long as we could. So that um, we don't annoy you. Yeah, with any noise we make, it'll be echoey. So, okay. Okay. I'm gonna start this. Um, I'd say eight bucks. It's the bag of old bingo balls. These are wooden. I love them. I would so keep them, but you know. They're so cool. You can use these in like assemblage pieces. You can um, fill up like jars that have old bits of like game tokens and things like that. Look, they wrote on that one. But you get you get the whole bag. You know how people fill up jars, like I said, with buttons. I think Katie's doing a gumball machine with dice. Dice, yeah. Um, but that's a good one for this one. And it's so neat because they're wooden. So we are at, sorry, this bag isn't very clear, but we're at $8 right now. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 0, 064. Five, four, three, yeah, two, one, and sold. I like those. Okay, I think I see the first 11 is Melissa Black. Melissa Black. Melissa Black. For $11, right? Hey, Melissa. Yes. Uh, what number Thank you, that? Melissa. Thank you, everyone else. Number nine. All right. Who likes cats? Not me. Everybody. That's a bold face lie. <laughs> All right. So I did get this with the intentions of him using it. He said in the live hall earlier that a few people like this. He was like, just let them have it. Also, I don't have the sideways room for it. So it's this brass key hook. Or you could hang other things like linens and things like that on it and make it look cute. Um, you you know, like um, little crocheted doily or something. Just have like a cute little wall hook. Um, anyways, this is going to start at $14. It's like a brass piece. And it's got all Aaron's outside cats on here. One, two, three, four. That's not enough. <laughs> 
No. no. I'll that many, I don't think. Oh, shall we? But shall we count? And then the one's pregnant again? Yeah, that one is going to have to go somewhere else. And if you really wanted, and if you were crafty, you could paint these. You just need um, like a, a paint that, like maybe an enamel paint that could go on metal, and you can paint your cat on here. That would be pretty neat, actually. I don't think they have a wide enough one for butter, so. Leave butters and his wide hips alone. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> so this is, let me just tell you real quick, and then I'll count it down. Six and a half inches long. Okay. All right. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Oh, your bathrobes? I don't have a bathrobe. It's not quite wide enough for that. Maybe just one bathrobe because it's like, like short, you know? Let's okay. see. Stop. And I see Shelby for Shelby, 18. The cat. Yes, Shelby. Yay, Shelby. I'm going to go back to completely being muted so I don't annoy you, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Kelly, my next item starts off at $14, baby. And it is for this beautiful, uh, this Amari style. It's not marked Amari. But if you know what I'm talking about, it's got, uh, it's that uh, Japanese porcelain that's got the rust colored and the blue designs in it. This egg reminds me of that. It's a little footed trinket box egg. I'll kind of go around slow so you can see it with these beautiful gold accents on it. And you open it up and I've included a gold tone little vintage brooch. There's the brooch. It's got all these little faux pearls and a purpley, two purple aurora board. No, it's got more than that. Let's see. No, two big purple aurora borealis. Um, little uh, prong set stones beside there. The little brooch is, well, I say little. It's not that little. See, it's so pretty. And I put this in there with it this time of year because those little pearls look like Easter eggs to me. They look like little eggs, but the brooch is, well, I can't see it that way, two inches long. So it's for the lot, for the little trinket box egg and the brooch, and we'll start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and be at end. I just think this is, I just love the design on there too. I just think those are so pretty. I just think they are so pretty. Looks like the face of an egg. <laughs> Looks like a face on the egg. Yes, it does now that you say that. Now I see it. See, when somebody says something, I'll, I'll see it then. And it looks like that's going to Elaine. Elaine, thank you, baby. And I'll put you in the drawing when it's Alex's turn, honey, because I have to do, I'm trying to go kind of slow to keep y'all from being aggravated with our problem we're having with StreamYard. Okay. Elaine Wallace got that, and I'll put you in the drawing in just a minute. And Kelly, my second item this round is going to be an Easter light. And it's starting off at $22, baby. $22 for the Easter light. And in this little Easter light, you're getting one of my Easter bingo cards. And there's this one. It says, to you at Easter with this sweet little bunny rabbit and a parasol and a basket full of goodies. And you get this little chick cookie cutter with the little um, kind of 1940s green hand metal handle on it. He's in really, really good condition. So you get those two. Then you get this Easter postcard. This is, it's like got a silk patch. Let me open this up because I think 
I'm not bad mistaken, this opened up. This is printed in Germany, yes. Okay, this is all silk. All of that silk. And then the little card is like an egg shape. And it opens up to be a Happy Easter greetings card. It was sent to Anna from Mrs. to Miss Derisma, but it's not postmarked, so she must have hand-delivered it. I'm not sure, but you get that. You get these floral die cuts of the ferns and the beautiful roses. This is a true Victorian die cut. And you get, this is another piece of Victorian ephemera. This says, um, this is was given out by Coffee, I think. Union, no, this is a printing company. Sent you this as a little Easter greeting. It's how they used to advertise with the little birds. So that's Victorian. All three, I think this is early 1900s. It's not postmarked, but it's from Germany. You get this um, to my wife at Easter with a beautiful iris on there. And you get the Easter postcard. And this one is dated April the 12th, 1914. Easter greetings from Martha Esther. A happy Easter. So you get all of those. Hey, Tony's Treasures. Black Girl says, what's the die cut? It's a, um, it's a paper um, item that they've cut using a metal die um, that's real intricate. They used, they were very, in the Victorian times, they were very big on um, these scraps and things and keeping beautiful things in a scrapbook. And this is embossed, if you'll see that. But this is a die cut. This right here is a die cut. I just put it on here to kind of help keep them. Because they're very fragile. So I, I just put that in there to keep it friendly. So you get the die cut. The 1914 postcard. The early 1900s. I can't date it exactly. Silk postcard. You're welcome, baby. You get the greeting card. From that's got the see it's got like chiffon uh, I can't pull it up but anyway this is like chiffon inside and you get the Victorian egg the bingo card and the chick so we'll start the countdown at 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid in. Hey, Ann, welcome, honey. I'm so glad you came back to see us. And if you're not subscribed to Alex and Aaron on Chapter 2, you need to. They're my buddies, and they have a channel also that they do live sales on on Thursday afternoons. I mean, Thursday evenings. I'm sorry. I see Kelly stop. And it looks like this is going to Annette. Thank you, Annette. And thank you, too, Ann, for bidding on it. Let's see. Annette for 24. Okay, I'm going to get y'all in the drawing, but I'm going to... Take a minute and put Alex over. Okay, I'm unmuted. Yeah. Sorry for the echoing. That's for people that popped in. That's why I had my mic off and I'm so quiet because it's having a problem. All right, my next item, this is going to start at $18. I was going to keep this, but I decided I have people that like this kind of stuff too. This gorgeous little miniature uh, painting print. Mm -hmm. In this gorgeous gold frame it does have a convex to the frame that's her right there and this is who it says it is and then mate hold on france copyright and that's all i can see on the frame gloria hi I'm karen but hey, this guys. she's got really big ears Someone said this was me. Oh, that's not her ear. It's a ball in her hair. I oh, her ear, boy. I was like, Does you said have big ears? ears? Her ears. I are thought that ball was an ear. She, he thought this in her hair was her ear. Oh, she's like a cling on <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> now that looks like my ears. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the frame is six and a quarter by five and a half. 
I got seeing Gloria in a 20. Thank you, Gloria. Isn't she glorious? Yes, Gloria. She is very glorious. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so. Hello, Nate. Hi, so Nader. Okay, we got Gloria for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, I think. I find it. Thank you, Gloria. There it is. Thank you, Gloria. That's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. My next item is going to be my holy water bottle. Okay, this one is going to start at 18 as well. This one actually glows. Aaron's going to try to fix the light for me so you can see it better. Oh, I can see it good, and I usually don't see those. So this would have had um, sort of like a stopper and the little metal, a little metal cap. But it says holy water on one side, and it has a cross on another side. But it does have like what is that? The oxid, not oxidation. Um, the calcium on the inside. I just think that adds to it. Yes, I think this is really. I was. This was another thing that I'm like, oh my gosh, I would keep this too. Hey, Sandy. How many times do you see holy water bottle? Hi, Sandy. That's cool. I love that. Sprinkle down the kids when they're acting up. Little sprinkle cheese, sprinkle <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get one of those. <laughs> Y'all just turn my tickle box on. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unique. It doesn't say anything like a, like a bottle company or anything like that. And I think it's, that that's kind. Of, I think that that's pretty old, Alex. Me too, Karen. It's three and three quarters inches tall. So that's an awesome display piece. Conversation Heck yeah. piece. He saw me. I was excited when I found this. How could you not? Be? I found that's this cool. at the same place I found the doll head and that fantastic music box. The jewelry, not jewelry, like the lipstick, lipstick. music yes. box. Um. Oh, thank you. That's my fancy camera Aaron got me for Christmas. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, sprinkle cheese, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's so old. She about to pee herself over there, isn't she? It's easy. It's easy for us ladies. Listen. We always say the sprinkle cheese because when you try to get the catch, you're like, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, sprinkle cheese, sprinkle cheese. <laughs> um, okay, so we have the first 50 is odd and, is odd and out. Actually, the only 50. The only 50, yes. Thank you. So, odd and I don't think I said this in, in the beginning, but our email is right there on the screen. And if you could send us an email, please. And we can have your real name and your shipping address and then a PayPal or an email I can use for PayPal because that's how I'll send you an invoice, okay? So I need that in order to get you a shipping label at all. I still have an item from the other day when I'm waiting for their information and it's just going to go back in another sale. <clears throat> so thank you everybody for trying. That was awesome. Odd and out. That's a cool name. I know it's cute. I hadn't. Uh, Saturday night was the first time I saw her in my sale. So. Um, that was your two. Say that again. I, I liked it. Uh, Saturday night was the first time I'd ever saw her uh, chat in my sale, and mm -hmm. uh, she said she had such a good time. So I'm so glad that she oh, found good. Her awesome. came over because now she can come to y'all sales too. She probably I'm watched sure. for a while too, though. I would imagine most I, I, people I do watch for a while. So. And then they get the nerve to, to chat, and then they, they, they can't stop. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay, so wonderful, we're... Melissa. 
Well, she's Whitney said, I'm in the wrong place if I start laughing. This time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go back on mute so we don't bug y'all. Okay. All right. So and that was our cue. All right, Kelly Michelle. My next item starts off at $18. And it is for, this has been in my collection for a long, long time. It is for a paper mache shamrock covered box. It's just, um, I have a box weakness. This is black with gold trim and shamrocks all around it. There's the bottom. And here's the inside. It is, let's see. It is five inches long. One and a quarter inches tall. And three inches wide. So it's, it's a good size, but it's not too big. But... The shamrocks and, and things to put out for vintage things, vintage shamrocks, vintage leprechauns, all that's very hard to find for me anyway, for, for me around here. Um, and I got this years and years ago. I don't even remember. I probably picked it up at an antique store. I just don't remember. But it is, it is in really, really good condition. And we'll start to count, I see can, uh, some bids on this, so we'll start to count down at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. And bye, honey. Have a good night. Hey, Smalls. Hey, Nader Tater. Did I say hi to you and Wendy? I hope I did. Yes, and welcome, Miss Barbara. Thank you so much for being here. I hadn't seen you before. If you come to uh, Alex's sales and Aaron's sales, then I may not have seen you before, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming and watching with us tonight. Who are you talking about? Miss Barbara DeWeese. Oh, yes. We know Barbara. We know Barbara. Oh, yes, we know Barbara. She's okay. <laughs> I enjoy the chats too, Miss Barbara. Oh, I'm sorry, Kelly. I didn't even see it, baby. Melissa B for 26. Thank you, baby. Okay. And then my next item is a St. Patrick's Day bingo cards. These are little bingo cards that I make for every one of the holidays. This one says Irish on the top, and she is, she says top of the morning to you. And she's got her a box full of clovers that she's dishing out to somebody. Fixing to, she looks a little on the sassy side. This is, this is the female salty. This is the female salty version of Erin. She's all kind of a little salty. And she is $14, and she is number 10. $14, number 10. Hey, Robin. Hey, Angela. Y'all had a good sale today, baby. And we're having the same problem you and Kat did. Thank you, Karen Chasen. Karen Chase. Thank you so much, sweet pea. Okay, I'm going to get Alex back. Bless her heart, she's having to mute. Okay. Unmute. <laughs> what happened? It's your she turn already? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Angela, we got the same problem you were having. It took forever to get on and hear somebody, and now we have an echo. So we're staying muted. So it's not you guys, it's StreamYard. Um, okay, so my next item is this, why am I forgetting this company? Mosser uh, Jadeite Easter Bunny. This is going to start at $25. Let's see. Mm, it doesn't, I don't know. Does that glow to you guys? Does that look glowy? I don't know. Hard to see. But it's so cute. 
It is. Yeah, it's cleared up. Why? Well, how far is that, Karen? Five and a quarter inches tall. Randy's in at 25. Thank you, Randy. Oh, Randy has a bunny collection. She does? She does. Or Easter, but mostly bunny. Come on, it's the nice one. Look, he's holding all the, the basket of Easter eggs. Jadeite, people. <laughs> it's got the logo right there on the bottom. This that is in 26. Thank you. No, Kitty. Little Kitty sits on the table wherever the treat bag is, and he like knocks the treat bag with his nose or Thank whatever. You, Virginia. She said, Great items. Oh, thanks. There we go. And we finally have ourselves an auction. Can I get a 55? 75. 75. <laughs> All right. 10. Come on, Randy. Big nine. You want it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And sold. <laughs> Oh, Randy, the your new Lori Wortley, Wortley got gotcha. you. Melissa Black slid right in there. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Thank you so much. Hey, Ben. You want me to see if I can get him out here to say hi to you? Yes, please. I've been missing oh, this guy. Where were we? Where was I at? The, oh, we went into CVS with him the other morning. Oh, yeah. I forget what he was doing with us. Um, and the people at CVS, we know them by first name. They know us by first name. And um, the manager there, John, he goes, wow, Gabriel is alive. Because he doesn't. He's do anything hitting those, teens, uh, those teenage, I'm going to stick to myself years. Mm -hmm. Kelly never went through that. She's a little social butterfly the whole, her whole life. That was even when Bianca was going through some stuff and being like real bullied and stuff. She was still more outgoing. Yeah. Him, he just, he clammed up. He wasn't like that, but you're at CVS getting your meds. We love she CVS. She just kills me on your video. I mean, I love your videos when you're- Yanka, when she you're is just, hilarious. When you're just doing by yourself, I, I love them. I, I hope you don't- oh, think No, they definitely make it better for me. But she is, just, she just kills me. I just think she's Right hilarious. now he's playing an online game with other people. Like, I don't think there's a- Pause, right? When no. you guys do that. Oh, that's fine. Okay, baby. Maybe Just he'll tell come him out. I that's all he does is play online games. All right. <laughs> the next item. What do you see, buddy? Is this pair a little brass deer? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start these at 18 for the pair. I'm She's like, bow down, Jeremy. Yeah, that is different. Yeah, the ones I find are usually mm -hmm. slick. Very Hi, cute. Mary. So these, the, t the, t the top of the antler, this one is four inches. And the other one to the top of the butt is like two and a half. See, that's a good so, size for these people. Right here. See, my house is small. So I, I'm, I'm gravitate towards little things like that that you can stick around places. Mm -hmm. So have we been gravitating to the small things. Yeah. Way easier for shipping. Oh, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Is it in at $18? <laughs> Elaine. I go to the antique mall and it's like 18 for one. So good it's a pretty night, good Ms. deal. Barbara. Thank you so much for popping in and watching. Oh, yes. Good night. night. All right. How 10, nine. nine. Hey, ow, why'd you bite me? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stole. Kitty, jeez, Louise. He's weaving in and out of the cords to the camera. He's wanting them traits, ain't he? I get him some, though. He wants some pets. Only when we're doing oh, this. We want some love. Elaine, they're yours. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to go back on mute. Okay, I know that Echoing was obnoxious. All right, sweet pea, Kelly. My next item starts off at $15, baby. 
$15 for the next item. And it is another piece of bone china from Staffordshire, England. Fine bone china, crown Staffordshire. This piece is crown Staffordshire. Let me show you the stamp on the bottom. This is hand painted and it is like a little tub shaped. You know, it's like a little vessel, but it kind of reminds me of a little bathtub. Has three little feet on the bottom. But look at these flowers. This just, I don't know, it just screams. I usually don't buy things like this. But it's just so beautiful to me, these flowers. I just thought it was so, so pretty. And again, just a little piece you can pop in somewhere and it'd be instant spring. You know, just to have a few little flowers and color in our house until the real, well, I've got uh, daffodils though. My daffodils are already blooming everywhere, but it is so pretty. Let me give you a measurement on it real quick. It is, well, I can't see it from that side, four and three quarters inches long, and it is almost three and a half inches tall, almost three and a half inches tall. Me too, Corin. I used to love, my mother, I love fresh cut flowers, and I miss her so bad for a lot of reasons, but mainly because if I was ever having a bad time or for holidays and stuff, she would always bring me the most beautiful bouquet of fresh flowers. And I just, I don't know, I just miss her. Because you don't tend to buy fresh flowers for yourself, you know? I need to, though. You know, it's the little things in life. We'll start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. Bye, fly girl. Thank you for popping in, honey. I just think it's so beautiful. And the fact that they're just all intact gets me. Hey, Suzanne. How are you, honey? It's good to see you. Hey, Cheryl. Luckiest girl in the West. Or in the world, I guess. Luckiest girl in the world. I see Kelly stop. And it looks like it is going to Corin. Oh, thank you, Corin. Corin's Collectibles. 417. Thank you so much. I'll get you in the bucket in just a second. It's good to see you too, Suzanne. My next item is a uh, St. Patrick's Day bingo card. And it is, I made it on one that says Clover at the top. And it says, wishing ha you happiness on St. Patrick's Day. And it's just this sweet little girl with a little leprechaun hat. Magnets and easels, and uh, to, you can do them on a refrigerator or stand them up on a shelf or something. This one is $14, and it's number 12. Okay, Corn, thank you, baby. Hey, Peachy Me. How are you, honey? It's so good to see you, too. I'm so glad you're doing so much better. Oh, Debbie, that's sweet. I don't know, uh, Everyday Crafter, uh, Robin, you got that, thank you, baby, but uh, it's Alex's turn now, so she, because I don't have any pink milk glass, it must be Alex, so hang on just a second, baby, and I'll let, I'll get her for you. Okay, There's you're on, one. you're on. Okay, um. No, the pink Jean, milk glass is Thursday, right? Yeah. So you're going to have to be back Thursday, Jean. Yeah, I really wasn't sure what to put in each sale. So, Aaron tried to pay attention to from people being like, ooh, ah, from the fall earlier, and that's what, how we chose it. <laughs> Good day. Ooh, um, ah. Ooh, ah. Yes, the things that they like. That's how I chose. All right, so this little piece here, I don't know, I don't think it's one of those old paper mache type bunnies, but it looks it, so that's what I loved about it. Uh, this guy's going to start at $14. He's adorable. The bottom is like, ooh, yes. yes, he is a ooh ah. Ooh, ah. 
Has a little oh, crepe nice. paper, fancy 1700s ruffle. Painted Easter egg with a stump. He's gonna try and hide that egg by that stump and it ain't gonna work. Nope. Let me tell you how tall this is. So the top of his ear, it's just under eight inches. Gene is 16. You can even take this as it already is and like add things to the base and make extra. You can add a bottle brush tree or something. Mm -hmm. That's right. I gotta get to Hobby Lobby, Miss Pam. They ain't got nothing. Well, they suck anymore. They suck. That I was really disappointed with their. Um, yeah. Usually I get giveaways from there. Um, yes, that's what I mean. Like I should go look over there. Maybe they just don't have them all put out yet at mine. I don't know, but. You would have think like New Year's they would have had Easter stuff out. Yeah, you would yeah. think. They All right, ten. Christmas out at thanks. I mean, at Fourth of July. They yeah, exactly. exactly. Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two, two one. one. And so sweet little face. He's got a sweet little face. It's so sweet. Precious little angel baby. He's That's too right. much sugar for a dime. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheryl is the first 21. Cheryl's in the giveaway. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. Out. Okay, now the next piece I have is a vintage kitchen item. And it's this really cool old sifter. Oh, I love that. that so it's so got awesome. some, you know, somewhere to it. The white isn't so white anymore, but it was used in a kitchen, you know? There's just nothing like those old antique tin lithos things. Yep, and it's by Androck, it says. Handy Sift, made in the USA. So this is gonna start at 18. These actually do really well, really well with the patterns on them. Uh, so it, uh, you guys liked it so much, we brought it to the sale. I was gonna put it on eBay. I think Miss Pamela really likes that thing. <laughs> Stormy, all right, Stormy, 18. Well, those are hard to come, those are hard to come by. And yeah, they're, they're usually just plain silver. silver. Yeah, you wouldn't That's think cool. that they would, I mean, people who don't know about, because I collect all kind of tin litho stuff, mostly toys and sand buckets. Mm -hmm. but it's just, that that's in very good condition. And to find one on a kitchen, uh, like utensil, is very unusual. Look at but look at her uh, skinny tiny waist and her like long head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's got a sifter in her hand. Of course she does. She's making. And it, the sifter still works. Need some WD forty. That's it. Be good. For yeah, I wouldn't use it now. I used to um, take the sifters. Of course, I didn't have. I never had a lithograph one, but and I would turn it into like a vase. So I would buy either the short bouquets from like Hobby Lobby or something, or I buy some florals and cut them down and put them in here. That is adorable. Isn't it neat? I thought so too. It is cool, Robert. It is very cool. Look at the refrigerator. What's the little kid do? Little kid's got a doll. She's got a doll and the little boy that looks like it's trying to be a baseball glove. <laughs> I mean, look, it looks like it, it's like going on. It looks like hot dogs. Yeah. I but mean, he's got it's a just, baseball. Usually they just portray the, the vintage lithograph things. They just portray daily life, you know, to me. And it's yeah. Just, it's, I don't know. I just love them. I just think they're so cool. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And sold. My hands are dry as a bone. <laughs> dry. Oh, mine were earlier too this morning. I was rubbing lotion all over them. You know what we probably need to do is get some gloves and sleep with some Vaseline on. That'd be yes. Drained, Robin. I think no. I Robin it feels that. so good when you do it with your feet with with socks. Honey, That's when I was pregnant with Kelly, I had. 
I had vitamin E oil from my neck all the way down to my feet. Yeah. I, I mean, I was like, I wasn't even 100 pounds when I got pregnant with her. I was 172 pounds when I walked through Druid City Hospital. Vitamin E oil helps to reduce like stretch marks and things like that. So if you're small, like she's saying, and then you get big real fast. Oh, I got you. Woo. It can happen. Robin, it looks like you got it for 36. Thank you. All right. Yay, Robin. That Was is that a your two? good piece, buddy. Yes. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for bidding on that. Thank that you. That is a really good piece. Okay. That helped. You don't look quite so bad now. Let me tell her. I think it's your turn, Miss Pamela. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yep. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm just over here you? wiping lotion all over again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Kelly, my next item starts off at $14, baby. And it is for this 1940s West Clocks uh, bedside alarm clock. I love the little shape. Now, it's in perfect condition and it keeps perfect time. It's keeping perfect time and has been for over two weeks. I, I always wind them up when I find them and make sure they'll keep time and that the alarm works. But it's the palest pink casing. Now, there is some wear to this brass. And well, it's not. It's fake brass. Whatever. It's some kind of metal that they want you to think is brass, but it's not. It's got some tarnish all around the outside of it. But I still think it, it was worth picking up. Because it's just, it keeps perfect time. It's an unusual shape and design. The alarm works perfect. And... It keeps perfect time. Because, see, it's been, I wound it up yesterday. Well, last night. I wound it up last night before I went to bed. And it's still, you know, keeping, because it's 601 now. And that's this right on 601. I just think it's adorable. It's got the little feet on the bottom here and the little stand. Keeping perfect time. But we'll start to count. I see Melissa's in for this, so we'll start the countdown at. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and be at end. And if it ever does, I don't know if any of y'all have these. I've collected these for years. But when they have this little screw on the back back there, that's not to keep the... Uh, the clock together that is if if these clocks ever run fast or slow you can adjust them by adjusting that that little screw right there and it, you'll have to get it under a real bright light to see but it's got little a little diagram right there and it'll show you which way to turn it to make it go faster keep faster time or to slow down the time if it's running you know fast or slow just a just a little fyi Melissa! Yay, baby! She is a pretty one. I'm glad you got her. Melissa got her. Yeah, yeah, Corin. Um, that you can adjust them that way. Now look at it under a really bright light first to make sure it's got the little dial on it. Cause see, this one right here, that is to hold the casing on, to hold the clock together. But when they have this, don't just think and get rid of an old clock because you think, oh well. It's five minutes slow, and it stays... No, you can adjust it right that, right there. Okay, next up, Kelly, my next item starts off at $14, baby. And it is for this mid-century uh, white enamel brooch. It's just solid white, and I thought it would be so pretty to be able... Because you can wear this with anything. It's very dimensional, like it's got layers and layers of the petals there. It is two and a half inches in diameter. And there's what it would look like on your um, shirt. Hey, Ellen, how are you, baby? It says, on StreamYard, it does it back. I mean, it does it funny. It says, hello, Karen Gillette, pink fa face pink drinking tea. <laughs> Instead of the emoji. But it is just absolutely adorable. I'll give it to you in a close-up so you can see. But I don't have seen any interest in this brooch, so we will... I don't know what that is. We will put this back, and I can bring it back in another sale in another time. 
and we'll let Alex and Aaron go with their time. Let's see. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> All right, I have this beautiful, um, it's a... Uh, hey, Deandra. Hey, Dee. Hey, Dee. It's Virginia, Virginia Metalworks, I want to say, is the name of these brass pieces. But that one's so beautiful. This is going to start at $12. And Dee, don't tell me I'm echoing. I know, it's a problem. But they're um, a nice little dish, you know, they fit like coins or jewelry or something. So, and it looks so like lifelike. You can see the veins and everything. Oh, it does look real. Are you interested? Well, let me tell you how. Well, on the front, we can do it about five and a quarter inches by four and a quarter at the widest marks. But if nobody's interested, I'll move on to the next item. Well, Elaine's in there, so count it down. All right, 10, Thank you, Elaine. 9, and it says copyright 1950, by the way. Whoa. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so. Thanks for hanging in there, guys, with the echoing. I know it's a pain in the arse. Number 14. I know. I wrote tab for something. She only bought one thing, but I wrote her in on the maple leaf thing, so I'll have to figure out what she bought. Okay. All right. So, Elaine, you got it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. All right, the next item I have are these Eiffel Tower clear glass salt and pepper shakers. They are in great shape. I don't think they were used. They're going to start at $12 as well. Didn't they have a little glow? This one? I don't know. It wasn't these. It was the decanter. Oh, okay. But this one still has, like, the original French sticker on there. Oh, how neat. I love the sticker on it. And the bottom says, like, depots or something. Oh, no, Laura. Oh, that stinks. Bad technical day. Oh, my word. Oh, I'm frozen. Hey, Karina. Oh, move it again. There you go. I was frozen. I had to refresh. I don't see anybody yet, but you can count down. All right. Down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. And that was my two items. Oh, you go. You got to move them right along. Mm-hmm. Okay. Figure out what Kelly, my next item starts off at $12, baby. $12. And it is for this little... Now, I don't know exactly how old this is. I've had her for a long time, but I, she's more modern than she is old. I would say like 80s or 90s maybe. But it's this little wire-covered moss rabbit. She's like, um, uh, not resin, but like a, a hard styrofoam. She's, she's a hard styrofoam. And I put one of these little ephemera holders in her, and in it you're going to get this... Um, Easter postcard from 1908. Let me see what this is. And it's the postcard itself was postmarked April the 17th at 3 p.m. in on 1908 in Barone, B-A-R-O-N-N-E, -N -N -E, New Jersey. And there's the card. It is embossed. There's the back. And it's just got a really, really pretty scene. It's just springtime and Easter all in one to me. So even though the Easter's down here really small, you could leave this out all East, I mean all spring long, you know? And it's just a little little thing to sit, you know, on your counter or in your uh, the back. Oh here oh you're no, you mean your back. I know what you mean now. Okay. 
I thought you meant the back of here. But I don't see any interest in it yet, but we'll start the countdown anyway at, we'll do the countdown. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. And I'll put this back in its little sleeve to protect it. I think that is just... They just used to put so much time and effort into their illustrations and paper and things. I guess that's why I just love paper. I could just, oh, me and Alex both. I, I know she's just like me. We like, we're paper nerds. Melissa, thank you, baby. Melissa, you're going to love her. She's a cutie. Thank you so much. Okay, my next item starts off at $12, Kelly Michelle. And it is for these vintage. These are made by Price Price Metal Products in Bellman, New Jersey. Genuine solid brass made in Taiwan. And it's for this set of, and I will polish these if you want me to, but they are seashell bookends. And they would just, you know, Hold your bookends, or how I've done them before. I've done them like this with the books all to the side on one end, and then I've just displayed the other shell just out on the shelf like this. You know, I don't hardly ever use two bookends together. I usually shove them to one or the other end of my bookshelf and just put one book holder up, you know, one bookend up on it. But they're just really, really pretty. They got all kind of... Hey, Steph! How are you, baby? And I was going to... Oh, let me show you the... Let me show you the label on the bottom. It's Price Metal Products, and it's New Jersey, made in Taiwan, and solid, solid brass. But they are just a really, really substantial vintage piece. So I see Suzanne in, so I'll start the countdown for these on Suzanne. And it's uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And be at end. They're pretty heavy, too. They ain't joking, they're solid brass. <laughs> And let's see. Well, we must be in our line. Okay, that's going to Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. I'll put you in the bucket in just a second. Let me get Alex over here. Thank you so much, baby. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My button is stuck in my bracelet. <laughs> For final destination stuff. All right. All right. This is really cool. Look at this squatty little uh, glass decanter. Okay, it's it's like small. I mean, look at my hand. But look at this. I want to start this at twenty dollars because I think it's very cool. Normally, you see them, and they got like the skinny bottom and the really long neck, and a lot of times they're a little, you know, to ship. But this one is really neat. Let me see if I can get you a little light. Can you okay, imagine gonna... bubble bath in that? Oh my gosh. Yes. yes. So, so beautiful. beautiful. Yep. And see, so you could keep that in the bathroom with bubble bath in it and not be. I'm always scared I'm going to knock one of those big ones around. Yeah, oh, yeah. The big. tall ones. Yeah. yeah. But it's got, so it's got like a large, like thumbprint design here. And then it's got the pattern on top and it's ribbed on the side. It's a pretty piece of glass. Pattern here. It's not marked. And then it has a stopper. Suzanne at 22. Thank you, Suzanne. Can we get a 25? How about a 25? How about a 30? How about a 30? How about a 35? How about a 35? How about a 35? How about a and I, I can never be an auction man. Karen Chase and Vintage is not 35. Karen, well, that's a way to step it up. That's really neat because I think this is the first clear glass decanter I've had that glows. 
Because, like, wait, I have a ship's decanter over here. I have never had a clear piece that glows. Okay, so I have a ship's captain one. You didn't have to tip that over either. So, well, that's why. That was the purpose. They were uh, on ships. Oh, oh look. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't do that. It's still a cool decanter. But it's still neat. And usually they're kind of, you know, they're larger or whatever. But um, this I like. So, okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Let me just tell you for the person who buys it how tall it is. With the stopper. It's just under seven inches. Okay, I think I see. Am I seeing Elaine? Uh, yes, Elaine Wallace for thirty-eight. Elaine's on a roll tonight. Thanks, Elaine. Yeah, Thank you, Elaine's everybody. Going good. Thank you very much. And I only have this one item left for the wholesale. Not right. Bad. Yep. Yep. A gray squirrel. Yes. How? So we have the wall climber squirrels. How many of you guys have seen gray? Sounds like you're in a. I've stadium. never seen a gray one. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, guys. Angela, I don't want to hear it. So a gray wall climber squirrel. How much does it start at? He's going to start at 14. He's cool. He's got both eyes. And he is stamped Japan on the foot. He ought to be stamped too cute for anybody to have because he, <laughs> seven and a half one. inches. Is there a real gray squirrel? There's black squirrel. Is I know there? That. Yeah. That's yeah. why we named squirrel squirrel. Uh, I thought it just had a bushy tail. Huh. I thought there was only Let's one color squirrel. Squirrel squirrel. <laughs> I named squirrel squirrel. Well, we had a black cat with a fuzzy tail, and she looked like a black squirrel. He Apparently, he wasn't on my level with that. No, we were definitely not on the same level. We have black Now, squirrels. in Florida, we don't see black squirrels. I only see those in, like, books and stuff. Well, got them. I mean, there might be a black squirrel. I've just not seen They probably chase LaDonna around her yard. <laughs> <coughs> Nobody for this one? Wow. All right, 10, That's 9, 8, Hello, 7, 9, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well, we'll try to sell it to you Thursday. Mm-hmm. Sure will. <laughs> Is it right that I only okay. have one left? Well, you yep. should have two, right? Unless, unless you did three in one go around and I five. might have done that because well, I know I had 14 nothing. things out. Or you might have had 15 items and miscounted. Yeah. To have one up. But that's fine. You go right on ahead. I don't have anything else. Oh, I'm sorry, else left. baby. Where's okay. the My oh, last oh. item is an, uh, my last bingo card for the night, and it is Irish bingo, St. Patrick's Day bingo. And she says, wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, she's just. She's just beautiful. She's just too pretty. Pretty, pretty. But, uh, and she is $14, and she's number 14. $14, number 14. I know we have them here. We just don't have them uh, enough to see them like we do the brown ones. Cheryl, Miss Lucky Duck, Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. <laughs> That's a good name for her, Miss Lucky Duck. <laughs> Miss Lucky Duck, Cheryl, I'm telling you. She has got it going on. Let me put you in the drawing real quick, Cheryl, and we'll, let me get Alex and Aaron up here, so we'll do our giveaways. Okay. But, I don't know if you had any new buyers, but just in case, tell them. Yeah. Okay, so I think we did have one, but I think she left. Um, so if you are new... Oh, she left, so I think she Okay, so you guys know what to do. Yeah, you guys know what to do about guessing my secret number, okay? So here's my two giveaway items. I have this goose figurine. These are great for those printer's trays, you know? Mm-hmm. 
and then the boxer dog. Those are the two items. So my first numbers, I need you to type in real fast for me. And guess my number is between 40 and 60. Go. Ms. Pam, there's a question for you in the chat. Certainly, Smalls. I'll add it to your pack. I'll add it to your other thing, baby. Dang. There it Only is. Cheryl's guessing? Well, got good odds, Cheryl. Oh, that's strange. I'm confused. Maybe they're just... Maybe they just know Cheryl's going to win. <laughs> no, here it comes. We must have a heck of a lag. Yes, she's good, Miss Helen. Yeah, well, Cheryl got it. Cheryl got it, finally. I ain't never in my life seen nobody with a look like she have. Y'all, is it not freaky? It is freaky. All right, Miss Cheryl, what would you like? I think she's going to choose this. You think? Mm hmm I don't know. Alex is pretty good at guessing. She is very good at guessing. Duck, please. You got it. You rest. Is it a duck? Did I say goose? Oh. Same animal fam family, I think. All right. So now for the little doggy, I need you to guess between 1 and 30. Go. And everyone who bought something can play. One through thirty. Excuse Bless you. you. Thanks. They're just not even gonna bother. <laughs> I know it's weird. Elaine's crying. <laughs> A lot, hang in there, Elaine. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> I used to say her luck can't last forever, but heck, I'm telling you, what it's been going on two years, ain't it? Mm-hmm. One through 30, right? I know, Annette. Yes, one through 30. Okay. <laughs> hey, all right, Melissa's trying. All right. Go, Melissa. Go, baby. <laughs> oh, Cheryl, she's still dragging in there. <coughs> one through 30. Come on. She knows. Guess my number. number. I can't believe they ain't nobody got it yet. No, me either. <laughs> well, it usually comes pretty quick because we have like more people. And then, then you get like five people with the same number and we have to yeah. see who got it first. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. That is crazy. Yeah, normally there's more people guessing. So, yeah. Yeah. Melissa, uh, you Melissa, got it. You, uh, you got it. My number was 17. Yay, so Melissa! So you get, you get the doggy. Thank you. Don't worry, Cheryl. I'm sure your streak is not broken, baby. No, no, no. It's not broken. No. Mm -mm. I've seen this happen before. She gets right back in there the next week. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Your turn. I draw for my uh, giveaways, and tonight, these are my little giveaways. They're little uh, ceramic light-up houses. They still have the tabs in them, so Kelly took the tab out of one of them last Saturday. So I'll just show you what they look like with the. See, they're just little light-up houses with little bunnies on them. So that's going to be my giveaway. I have two of them. So let's get the first one. Let's see. The first person to get one is Annette Fane gets a house. And if fair, you get a house. House on Monday. Let's see if he gets the second one. Mary, Grandma Mary, you get a house. Grandma Mary gets a house. House Monday. Thank you so much, babies. Yeah. Okay. Thank y'all all so, so much for being here and for putting up with our little technical difficulties we have. I don't know what yeah. we're Beth and I are going to get together sometime between now and the next month sale. 
and try to figure out if we can use this new feature they have on YouTube where we can go live yeah. on uh, YouTube. Yes. yes. We'll get together and talk about that on uh, on our own, see if we can't do like a little pop-up or something like that and work something out between now and then. Maybe do a craft thing. I don't know. We'll do something. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. Cool. We could Damn. do something, you know, that we could do live together and it not interfere with somebody else's life. So we'll have to talk about it and do some kind of Good luck with that. Thing. Yeah, that, that'll be hard. And I, I would think a live craft thing would be different than like a live sale. It'd be different if, I guess, if we were doing a live sale, but even still. It's hard to go on without anybody else being on. Well, that's true. Hey, it's three in the morning. We appreciate y'all so much. And Alex and Aaron have another uh, have their weekly sale this Thursday night. And oh, you just tell them, Alex. Oh, it's at seven p.m. on our channel, Chapter Two Vintage Co. Kelly's put the link in right there in the Thank chat. You, Kelly. So if you Thank want to you, just Kelly. click on that link, it'll take you straight to their channel Thanks, and you can bookmark their Thanks sales for buying a and be ready for it. But we we appreciate y'all coming. And even the people who didn't, don't buy or anything, we appreciate you just coming and hanging out with us and giving us the support through just being here and giving us up on our channels when we do. Love y'all to pieces. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>